Welcome back to Fine Home Building House, Wisconsin. As soon as we raised the walls, we got straight to work on framing the roof. And the roof is a combination of parallel cord trusses and common rafters. And now that the roof is framed, we can start work on our roof sheathing and complete our air sealing details. So we opted to set up our cut station down here on the floor of what will be the garage just because the wind and the, the cold, we thought it would be best to keep a minimum amount of people and material on the roof. And with the eave being within reach off of a ladder, we found it easier to cut all the sheets down here and hand them up to me, which I could grab easily from the eave and take them up to where they get installed on the roof. So because we're doing two foot on center framing, we have to use these H clips on the long edge of the zip panel. And what that's going to do is help stiffen the panel where there isn't any framing below it and should help keep the roof from cupping. And I like to preset the clips before I bring the sheet up and drop it into place. The clips and the, the edge are self-spacing, but you do have to pay attention to the left to right spacing on the sheathing. Usually I just put a eight penny nail in on the top and that gets me the eighth inch required spacing between the sheets before I start to nail it down. So when we go to nail off our zip panels, again, just like on the walls, our spacing is eight inches in the field, which they have marked with squares. The squares line up with our two foot on center roof framing whereas the circles would line up with uh, 16 on center or one foot on center framing. On the edges, we wanna go six inches on center. So now that we've got the zip sheathing down, we can tape all the joints on the roof sheathing. I do want to have it so that I don't have any reverse laps so that it's shingled properly like you would have your asphalt shingles on a roof. So I'm going to start with this first vertical seam and again trying to get the tape centered on the butt joint of the sheets following the uh, lines that are painted on the sheet to help guide me down. And now to get the lapping correct I'm going to do the horizontal joint immediately above that vertical butt joint. It is important to center it, especially on the horizontal, because you have these H clips now that we're going to be putting the tape over. The bump that the H clip creates isn't a big deal, but what's important is to get it sealed and pushed down on each side of the H clip to make sure that you have your air seal created over the clip, with the clip being kind of a pocket inside the air seal tape. Now that we have one side of the sheathing up to the ridge, we'll continue taping the seams. Another reason why I like zip panels is that once the opposing side of sheathing is installed, I'll be able to easily tape the two sides together to complete the air seal at the ridge. Another area to pay close attention to when air sealing is your roof to wall transitions. Taping these sections correctly is important in order to minimize heat loss and to keep moisture from infiltrating into your assembly. These methods follow the same taping procedure as we did on the roof sheathing by lapping the joints shingle style. Once we're dried in, the next step in our process is to frame the interior 2x4 wall of our double wall assembly. And you can catch us doing that next time on 2021 Wisconsin Fine Home Building House. <music>